Alright, so let's actually get started on this. So I'm going to be playing Shovel Knight Blind from start to hopefully finish. Oh, you, ha you haven't played this yet. I have not played this yet. Okay. Then I, I have played it several times. What level of information do you want me to give you? Um... You'll probably know if I'm having, like, a time, and then okay. you'll be able to to give me information. Basically, I'll take information whenever you're having a- whenever I'm having a time. Okay. And, uh... Yeah, I've got Medibot on the co-commentary, so yeah. we're going to hop to it. I'm not, like, some kind of expert speedrunner or whatever, but uh, I, I have played the game to completion a few times. Register your name. What is my name? Secretly, this is very important. My name is Lumpy. My name is Davis. <laughs> I've chosen Lumpy. You have chosen Lumpy. Alright, good start. Good selfie. Never trust a wizard. Never, never trust his amulet. Never trust a wizard or any of the wizard's work. Well. Plowing fields. Lumpy. Lumpy in solitude. That's a way to pass the time. Ah, oh, the quarter of no order. Yeah, it's complete chaos at the arcade with them in charge. All right. So you got to go kill Dracula. Alrighty. Or, or wait, who Dr. was the bad guy in um Ninja Gaiden? That was totally a Ninja Gaiden screenshot. Alright, so I got my shovel, I got my jumping, and I don't have any sub-weapons, I've got a pause menu. That's the real pause menu, this is the fake pause menu. Yeah. Alright. So, yes, you are correct in assessing that you do not yet have a sub-weapon. You will be made extremely aware of when you have a sub-weapon. Yes, digging. Digging is vital. Beetles are vital. So uh, yeah, I've got a I've got a pogo. Yeah, you do. That's that's the other sort of important basic move. You've got gets you some good height. Let's see you attack things below you. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I should use the D pad or the wiggly. I mean, I'm. This, yeah, this, is, this I, is a precision platform. Yeah, I probably picked the wrong controller for this, because I picked the regular Xbox controller rather than the, uh, the Guile one. Uh, well, eh, you'll be fine. Yeah, that's what I figure. Well, if you're not, it'll be kind of funny. Bubbles. Bubbles. Oh, bubbles hurt you. Okay. Bubbles are harmful. And this is here to teach me how to pogo. It is, it is the fun of learning. And this is where I probably go and switch out my controller. Yeah, if you're not getting that down input reliably, then you're gonna have a time. I think I just wasn't doing it early enough. Yeah, right, so then there's the save things, and the thing I know about this game is that uh, when it comes to the save things, you can either have them as a checkpoint or destroy them for more money. Yep, that is, that is a true fact. Um, they'll also show you how much money you'll get. It'll be a, a bigger, shinier gem inside the chest. I've not grabbed DuckTales Remastered. I have not played it yet. 
I should say, I, I definitely grabbed it. I feel like there's... I feel like I might be missing something with the pogo. Um, it's just down, you don't have to press attack again. Ah, that's what it is. It's, I don't have to press attack. Yeah. Importantly, like, attack cancels you out of it, and that's the only way to cancel out of it before you hit the ground. Hmm. Yeah, that was my problem, is I kept pressing attack. And there's this guy. I think I've got a handle on this. All yep, right. oh, that was that was a good handle. Got your apple. Oh, that was good. Skeletons are in this game. They are skilled with the sword and the blade. Oh yeah, and I also know this game has uh, hidden passageways. That's oh, yes. another thing I know about this game. Many of them... Well, some of them will be more obvious than others. Ah, slimes. Slimes. Slimes are low to the ground and uh, jumpity hop. I get a better view of the chat. Alright. Yeah, so I think I see what's going on here. There's a... You secret passage. The good stuff. Yeah. Now you can collect your prize. I got it. <laughs> you got it! Uh, the nature of it will become apparent later. But you did get it. And it's good that you got it. I'm glad that I got it. Because once you have it, you got it. Right, when, once you have it, you don't have to worry about getting it, because you got it. You, don't have, you, you know, people without it, they're just going to stay up all night thinking about how they could get it. But you, you're not going to be one of those people. You got it. That's All not right. good. And the question is, is what's for dinner good or bad? Um, well, you can find out. It's chicken. It's, it's delicious. What's for dinner is, is very good. What's for dinner is chicken. Maybe that is what's for dinner. Importantly, you have recoil from your shovel. Yes, that is an important fact. Not being aware of that will get you owned. How are you yeah. liking the overall aesthetic so far? It's good. It feels... It feels the, like the correct kind of retro, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there have definitely been some games. Like, I think uh, I actually move. Uh, no, I still move at, like, the sub-pixel level, I think. Yeah. You want to know something cool? But at least your, your sprite is internally consistent, and most of the effects seem to be, too. Yeah. Once you get up to uh, some safe ground, just press down. I do a little squat. Yep. I don't know if it changes your hitbox at all. Squatting's good. Squatting, it's it's good exercise. Got to keep your knees in shape. All this jumping could be bad for your knees. Skeleton inside. You stole that skeleton's retirement fund. I took all of his worthless gold. You, you stole both skeleton's retirement funds. And his carrots. And his carrot. 
fat stacks of cash. Wait. No, that, that is the end of that particular thrilling path. This is good. It's like a video game to play. There's nothing, like, crazy about it. Yeah, well, I mean, you are still essentially in the... Well, First level. Essentially, you, the tutorial stage. Yeah. This is you know, as tutorial as it gets. Once you get into the game a little more proper-like, you will see uh, how else it goes. You cannot harm other parts of Level Dragon. Up, oh, up! Oh, all his goods went in the hole. All, all of the dragon's treasure. Is, it is a sacrifice. The skeleton went in the hole. Oh crap! You went in the hole. I went in the hole. Dragon in the hole. Skeleton in the hole. Lumpy in the hole. Hmm. You died. Unfortunately, you might be able to get some of your money back. Also, this seems like a easier difficulty because I didn't lose everything. I just lost some of the thing. No, that's that's the default is you lose half of your half okay. of your money on death. It's in those precarious looking fun bags. Oh, crap! <sighs> I don't know uh, how I feel about these one thing long things. Yeah, one one block platforms in the intro stage is maybe a little... Oh, maybe that's that's a little too early for the, the one one block platform. I was just... I... I think I'm kind of greasy, but not really. Like, I seem to be greasy when I land, holding a direction. Mm. I haven't played in a little bit, so I don't quite remember exactly how Maybe the not. Felt. I don't know. Fabulous Villain asks, what are the blue bottles for? The blue bottles fill Shovel Knight's magic, which is yeah. currently you know, at 30 out of 30. Um... But without a sub-weapon, Shovel Knight cannot spend magic. It's it's your heart slash Ninja Gaiden juice. I never understood how it worked in Ninja Gaiden. It was your ninjutsu abilities? Yeah. Like, what? I could never tell the difference between, like, what what are the things that are more hearts and what are the things that change my sub-weapon. It just confused me and I picked up everything and hoped for the best. Picking up everything is a core tenant of video games. You didn't eat that, but it was delicious. Alright, first boss. And yeah, intro boss. Alright, unlike Mega Man X intro stage bosses, he is not gigantic. He's a regular size. Steal thy shovel. He what if my shovel isn't shovel. made of steel? Alright, so he takes half a heart of damage. He's got he... projectiles. He's got moves. Do you want me to tell you a fact? Uh, sure. You can reflect the fireballs by hitting them with your shovel. Cool. Basically makes you feel like a winner. Yeah. Which means, uh, I take it that's, that's a common thing you can do with fireballs in this game. Yeah, a lot of projectiles can be reflected by hitting them with the shovel. What? 
You I don't know. What my, I don't know what my taunt is. You you don't you don't have a taunt. Oh, okay. Now it is time to rest. One thing, one thing I liked about Final Fantasy XV was that when it was time to rest, you always made food at the oh, campsite. Yeah. It was always egg toast, though. Catch her. Jiggle myself awake. Oh, okay. The jig line. Anyway, welcome to your map. Yep. Screen. Also, NPCs are great, and you should talk to them. I think I will. I can't seem to go indoors though. No, you can't, so don't. That's that's not a thing. Is this is this a good thing to do? Yes, you want to do this. This is how you unlock things for essentially the sound test, and also you get paid. Cool. I have lots of things I can play. You start with a few of them unlocked, and you, you, you gave two of them. Neat. I can talk to... Right. I want to talk to that horse. This game features animal people, and it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Dear lady. I want to find... <laughs> I really want to talk to that horse. I want amazing to talk to the horse, horse ahead. There it is. There it is, an amazing horse. Going left first is right. Okay. Alright, so... When you get to that level, that'll be good to know. To a goat. Goat massage. A, the goatition. Uh. Sure. This oh. is a good use of your money. Upgrade my health. Ah, the sack. I, I hate that, a that green was, that sack. That was something with kale in it, so it must be healthy. A kale shake. <laughs> it's Grandma Swamp. <laughs> swamp. Not a witch. She's Grandma Swamp. She's just Swamp Grandma. Oh, All right, defeat the Specter Knight. A goat. There we go. Hey, good find. Chalice, alright. Chalices. Do I need a chalice or. I mean. It could be helpful. 
We'll see what else we can do. Yeah. We also talk to, to this guy. He's also got something for sale. Fishing rod. Chaos Sphere. An or I'm, I'm a fan of the Chaos Sphere. Chaos Sphere. So now you have a sub-weapon. I'm all about the sphere. I would suggest buying a chalice. Alright, I'll grab a chalice. Whoops, I forgot. I skipped over that. Oh, well, I guess I will. I can hold it aloft like such. Uh... Well, right now it's empty. Oh. It's, it's just an empty cup. Okay. But if you can fill it up with mystical icor, then you can drink the icor from the cup. Right, and the six means I have five uses of this chaos orb. Yes. Yeah, I have enough money. Yeah. You have basically spent your cash for now. Ah, uh, the hedge farm. Pretty sure that's like a raccoon or something. I think I think he's I think he's a hedgehog. He's the hedge farmer. Oh. Ah, uh, it's, it's you know it's like a raccoon. Hedge, hedge farm the hedgehog. Yeah. Yeah. Hedge it. Uh, and this looks like I need some kind of double jump, but... Maybe. Maybe you can find something to jump off of. Wait, there we go. You found something to jump off of. Absolutely. And I can actually go, uh, sell the two songs I found, and that is still not enough money. Or is it? Uh, well, there was something you could get for 1500 Yeah. Oh, yeah, 500 gold for each. Okay, nice. Yeah. Barred from the juice bar. That can get me some more magic. Yeah, for more orbs. Potion pun zone. I mean, I I talked to the frog twice. Do I talk to the frog lots of times? The frog. The frog will has lots of things to tell you. Super skeletons. Yeah, that's me. This is the purpose of the frog. I can I can be part of the room. That's true. You're you're blending in with the ambiance. All right. Yam you you really the ambiance. The amoebans. Yeah. I hear there's a big shortage of those. Yeah. When will they make the shovel knight amoebans? Anyway, All we right. can go to some places now. Do you want to hint? Uh, sure. Go to that tree first. Go to the, go to the pond. Because you can fill up your chalice. Nice, there he is. I core. Um... I don't know, I guess health potion. I I recommend not the yellow. Okay. I'm thinking health potion then. Seems good enough. Yeah. And that that's health and magic. Oh yeah, that's good. So that's that's your that's your mystery tank. Ah, we begin the ceremony.
My favorite thing is that it was someone's job to choreograph these fish. Yes, someone <laughs> someone put together the fish dance. I'm reminded of the dances in Link's Awakening and how much I like those. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's kind of a wind fish too. He's he's definitely some kind of a wind fish. Let's get the chaos sphere. All right, so we got King Knight and we got Shadow Specter Knight. So. Uh, Those are the, the two levels you can go to. Let's see, if I go to Spectre Knight first, I can get to the gem land first. I don't know whose weapon is weak against whose. But if I go here, I can probably keep that hint in mind about going left. Yeah. You must choose. Alright, let's do this. Let's go left. You got to go left to go right. You collected the prize. This is good. Now, get on with the rest of the level. Alright, we still just got the regular, regular beetles. Yep. The, in the... Those beetles are, I think they're, they're gonna stick around for a while, but since this is one of your two options for the first... Oh, shit! ...real level of the game. Crazy pony. Watch out for the amazing horse. Watch out for delicious boiling oil. You think Did it's you know? oil or lava? Well, the story that they would always tell in elementary school was that they would pour boiling oil down from the motor holes. Okay. But they would never actually do that because oil would have been way too valuable. So they probably just poured like toilet boiling water. water or toilet just, just like they they something hot and nasty. They'd give you the old <laughs> hot and nasty. <laughs> the McDonald's hot and nasty back for a limited time. It's, it's true, introduced <laughs> special just just for today. The hot and nasty. So, here's a wizard. Here's me being bad at fire, ball reflecting the wizard. Yeah, it's tricky to do it in midair, just because you've got, you know, two vectors of timing instead oh, of it one. Oh, lobs it at him. Yep. So you also need to be spaced such that, you know, if you're trying to actually get the wizard. Try to harm the wizard every time you see them. Yes. Alright, I think I see this stage's gimmick is going to be some of these do not actually have... Some of these will be hiding holes. Try to determine the stage's gimmick every time you see it. So these guys... Not too bad. These guys, pretty I mean, like, anything I could say was better expressed by you fighting him. I think that's, that's a sign of a good enemy. Makes more sense in motion than in trying to describe it. There's a bunch of ramp in this. Okay. Speedrunners got really mad about some things on the world uh, map. Okay. That were random. And so they got changed. Speedrunners get whatever they want. This looks to be quite the puzzle. Are you are you ready for a platforming adventure, Pokey mm. Captain? I don't know. Put my 
myself into the Shovel Knight shaped hole. And uh, I just just put yourself in the hole. I don't seem to be going into the hole. Well, I mean, oh, there we go. It takes I had to a squat second. to go into the hole. Now, can you solve this other deadly platforming puzzle? Ah, uh, crap. Oops, I let my orb get loose. Sorry, sometimes orb gets loose. Oh, I found a friend. He's got the best deals anywhere. Congratulations, you have the, the, the magic wand. Alright. Hey, that only costs four. Yep. Neat. So, he's gonna be in every level? In in the platforming challenge section. Yeah, there'll, there'll be a little... He'll be hidden off in a little side area. And then you can buy sort of the this stage's weapon from him. They were doing good. Well, you know, you got some wizards, but you can deal with some wizards. You That's can't not eat chicken. That. That's not chicken. kind of digging puzzle. Nope. Not too critical, but if you do it correctly, you'll get a little more treasure. Yeah, whatever. about halfway through the stage at this point. Cool. How are you liking it so far as a, you know, first real stage after intro? I'm, I'm liking the whole thing. Alright. Alright, so that... Go ahead and grab this checkpoint. Oops. Almost broke it. Yeah, it takes a few hits, so it's okay if you accidentally get a stray hit in there. Ah, the birds. Yep, enjoy the griffin. Look at it, just sitting there like a jerk. Oh, what an asshole. Yep. The swath bird has defeated you, but you can recover. Now, I don't think you even lose half your gold. I think it's it's less than that even. There we ah, go. Ah, but you found a good spot. I've I've witnessed the pattern. You understand the Griffin's power. You have to understand the Griffin's weakness. The Griffin and I will come to terms. Negotiations were short. And now it's time for me to get blasted with rats. Yep. That's what all the cool kids want. And get rat blasted. And there's gonna be something good up there if I pogo up to it. Frick! There we go. Ah, uh, you did it. Usually I need two of them to get up there. It did that thing that you yeah, knew was the, going to happen. Yeah, it did that thing that I knew was going to happen. Are you satisfied that you called it? I, I am. 
assaulted. Why else would they do such a thing? Oh, yeah. If they didn't want it to happen. I mean, maybe it's just there for, uh, for aesthetics. Flavor. Flavor. Flip top. This wizard has the prize. You've defeated all the wizards. Nice. They're extinct now. Or at least the ones in this area. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, oh they came back. I didn't think they could do that. They've made a miraculous recovery thanks to our conservation efforts. The thing I really like about the flying rats is that they're really nonchalant about the whole flying thing. Just sort of attached to the harness. Yeah. Like, almost, pretty much like they didn't actually get to decide to be attached to the helicopter. They're just sort of there and harmful in general. So someone did that and they're like, oh. We can't do up? anything about that because we're rats. Yes. Guess we just got a blast here. And you knocked his block off. I wonder if the chaos orb does well here. Oh, it does. It does some chaos. Yeah, it, it, it allows you to attack from two angles. Read a book. Should I? Well, I mean, go to your secret, but also read a book. <laughs> if you find a secret, you gotta get the secret. That's just good sense. You don't right, get the secret as a platforming not. challenge. Get the secret. Oh, I got blasted with rats. Blasted. Back you go. Still, that's only like one screen. Oh. <laughs> so. Let's equip the our the rat. checkpoints. Let's in equip this game our rat blaster. Pretty polite. All right, much better. Yeah. Switching and back to your orb. Read a book. Uh, let's quit the puzzle. You gotta return it to the library. Wait, what? Because the it clo it, it closes. Oh, I door. can bounce off. Of, I didn't realize I could bounce off. Ah, of it. yes, that's that is the important fact. Also, all books are the same book. Okay. And that is the platform challenge. You, you've you surpassed the future. You've surpassed the chandelier. You've surpassed the chicken. Is there anything that Shovel Knight cannot surpass? Accidentally flinging the orb. <laughs> Except then you, you got your magic back, so you surpassed it. Oh, nice. Anyway, here's this guy. Oh, he's got a different pattern this time. What a girl. But you're the winner. Nice. I like how you get chicken for your troubles. So far it seems like a very, like... The game doesn't actually punish you game. Fabulously regal. Shovel justice. Anyway, have a boss fight. Alright.
I assume the Chaos Orb is like a good thing to toss right, around. seems to be what we can all right. Sometimes... Also, he seems to be pretty fairly weak to the Pogo. Oh, surprises. Chaos Confetti. I guess that's his desperation move. The Chaos Confetti? No, he just does that. Okay. You're the winner. So, yep, that's five more keep and king knight. So this is going to be interesting because I actually did this level second. I did mm -hmm. uh, Lichyard first. And it really changes the dynamic, how you sort of feel about the entire game <laughs> based on which level you pick first. Really? That, uh, based on people I've talked to, just because, you know, the, apparently most people I talked to did... Did fight more keep first and act like you're supposed to do that one first and that and that is somehow supposed to be obvious. I don't think it's ob like the only the only thing that would make you want to do it first is the guy gave that hint saying go left. Did. But then someone else said that if you beat the Lichyard, she'll give you her greatest treasure. So it's like, don't you want oh. the great treasure? Also, uh, I, I didn't realize that. Oh yeah, one of the ladies you talked to in the basement. And then yeah, also, if you if you do that one first, you get to the gems. Right. I see you've discovered wandering monsters. These are just little mini levels, full of prizes and holes. Oh, criminy. I will Good use. use of, of <laughs> I will use the background, frames. the background chest. Good use of frames. Good use of skeletons. All right, on we go. I guess it is also one square away from town instead of many squares away from town. Whoa! Ah, that that was a that was a Kickstarter joke. That was that was a the joke is that Kickstarter, just like all other tools of the masses, have become just another tool of massive corporations. That is the joke. Oh, so I guess this was like the first track when they were like, hey, listen to our 8-bit music. Yeah, probably. Or, I don't know. I mean... But yep, you got, you got that music track. I think you also had an extra meal ticket? Um, I don't know, let's find out. No. Oh, no. I, I thought I saw it in your inventory. I'd have to buy it from the goat. And that looks like it costs a lot, so... It does cost a fair amount. That costs less of a fair amount. But I could also get that, uh... Fishing rod. You could. Or another chalice. Whoops. You already had him. Go fishing. You can go fishing. It's not gonna be very useful in town. There's no water. I don't really need a new chalice yet. It's your call. You can also, you know, save your money for something. Yeah, I think it's on to the... Well, I guess one point is, like, you could lose your money, and then That's you'd true. be sad. You could lose your money, and then you would be sad. Alright, let's spend it then. You have to spend money to not 
lose money when you fall in a hole. Yep. Because then someone else has it. It's the oak problem. Grandma Swamp. Alright, let's go on to the next level. I would like some kind of dash, maybe. Mm. Well, you know, you'll probably get something like that sooner or later. Yeah. Anyway, this level has my favorite theme in the game. It's appropriately spooky. It's spooky as hell, dude. It sounds like a Castlevania, too. I'm trying to th I'm trying to think of which castle which Castlevania song it sounds like. Ah, uh, spores. Oh yeah. Also frogs. Electric frogs. Holy yeah, crap! Welcome to the electric frog cabaret. <laughs> Holy crap! This level might be a little bit more difficult than uh than five more. Level might have it, more it, de it definitely sounds like a sp specific Castlevania track, but I can't remember. Think of which one. Huh. Ghosts. Oh, you made the ghosts angry. They're ghost wizards, even. It's it's glorious. With that. Oh shit, they don't die! Nope, ghosts don't die. Also, a frog is back? Yeah, that happened. How awful. This level is full of skeletons, and I love it. Ah, uh, crud. Wait, no. I can... I can get on a skeleton if they let me. You got on a skeleton. I still think this re this reminds me of some track. Yeah, it sounds like yeah, it's a Castlevania three track. Is it like the? Uh, I'm trying to remember my Castlevania three. It's like the the track that I really like in three, but I don't think is like this. Maybe it's sort of like this. Is Aquarius? I don't know. Also, you can't bounce off of ghosts. How about that. Well, you can bounce off of the tombstoners. Yeah, is it the first level? Might be. Uh, I'll have to listen to them side by side. I never really made a comparison to any Castlevania tracks. I just really liked it because of skeletons and stuff. Yeah. Speaking of skeletons and stuff. Skeleton enjoy... Frog. Oh no, Skeleton Knight. Enjoy this guy. I've activated his flame, but I don't know what that means. I I don't either. I didn't I'm know also that also getting completely wrecked by him. I can attack from a distance with magics. Yo, nice mid-air shot. That's pretty stylish. Anyway, pretty soon this level is gonna kick in, and then you're going to. <laughs> Either really love it or really hate it. The true Lichard will start very soon. Dance a little jig. Shovel jig. Yeah! Oh! Yard starts here. I 
love it. Oh, love baby. It so I'll defend this forever as a, <laughs> as a good level design. Making everything dark and lit up by the lightning. In a platformer with bottomless heads. Skeletons. Oops, wrong. Whoops, double wrong. Let the orb decide. Who was chosen? Horse was known. to ghost. That I did. I released a skeleton. And Goodbye, skeleton. It went for a swim. A skeleton without a head sometimes does not have good ideas. Because <clears throat> ideas are stored in the head. Good ideas, at least. Bad ideas can come from any part of the body. Now, can you solve this sinister puzzle? Alright, okay. Frick. Oh, these spores don't hurt me, so that's... No, they are, they are harmless. There we go. This is not harmless. It. Down you go. I don't think Into I'm getting. The, I don't think I'm getting some of ghost. that back. Okay. You've already plundered that okay. treasure. Okay. Okay. Just checking. Treasure chest is known. Alright, let's try this again, and we are probably not getting our money back. Yeah. We get some of our money back. Uh, you need some way to lower down something below you, and then pull it back up. I do not want to challenge this ghost to get the gold back. That's fair. Like, would the fishing rod actually work? Yes. Biscuit. Whatever, I'm out of here. Yeah, you got the big one. You're good. Look at that. Look at that helmet skeleton. I love his helmet. <laughs> He's like, hey, nerd. Come and fight me. Oh jeez, I don't know what this means. Alright, so this goes down like a Super Mario thing. And I... I, I got squished. You go squish. Now you're here again. Bombs. But it's all just right there for you to collect. Yes. So just avoid... A strong helmet deserves a helmet. Shit! I think I did something wrong there. Uh, did not get enough ups. Goodbye, people on the stream. Oh, he can get crushed too. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. I mean, it's only fair, right?
Oh, I get it. If I lose the... Okay. Yes. Alright, I understand. Some enemies are heavy. You are heavy. And I will not bother with him. Blocks, block in your block. I think I want. Do I want to do this or do I want to do this thing over here? Well, you can do it with the fogs or you can do it with the helmet. Fogs can deal damage to you. Oh, I see. So there's no, like... You've moved the helmet. Terrible frog. Terrible electric frog. That's... Didn't we know a terrible electric frog in high school? Maybe. No, oh, oh, there's something good. It's your, oh, it's your, here we go. It's your pal. It's your boy. Boy Chesto. Interesting. Enjoy what is, in my opinion, the best sub weapon in the game. You can even walk on spikes. Alright, so let's use this against Electro Frogs. Alright, that is brief. That is brief. It is. But sometimes brief is long enough. You know, if you're about to land on spikes, then. Mm -hmm. you know, just long enough to land and then jump again is long enough. That's a chicken. Nice. And a checker point. Mm. That fog's planning something. I don't trust it. It doesn't trust itself. <laughs> yeah. That's unfortunately way too common among frogs, is they just don't have that necessary self-confidence to, to defeat the other guy. There we go, got ourselves a tune. Yeah. That was close. I thought I was afraid you were gonna accidentally squish your own self again. Platform is held up by skeletons. Whoa, what's going on here? Can you solve the deadly the deadly puzzle? Oh shit! Deadly puzzles! Oh, I see. The the light, the lamp just means he's awake. Yeah, yeah. And it turns off, and he's like, "Oh, I'm sleepy." You can hide in the hidey holes. That's called strategy. Strategy. Stratagenics. Oh, we we got lots of genics. Well, I have no idea how to do whatever that is. 
Don't worry about it. I've got. You, you've frogs. got frogs to worry. I've got frogs to worry about. You have a busy on-the-go lifestyle involving lots of frogs. I feel like this was some kind of designed enemy. Like, Electric Frog just seems like one of those things where it's like, let's put an annoying Electric Bouncy Frog in the game. That seems good. Alright. Now I must do platforming. Yeah, in the dark. Oh, McGinnis. Okay, you know their weakness. You you use their weakness. I felt like I was sliding a little bit though. Frick! Did it! Ah, uh, yeah. Did it. Get ready for a boss fight against a cool boss. She's super cool. I won't let you talk bad about Shield Knight! <laughs> Ghosts are impossible, so you're not even talking to me right now. Alright. I really like this fight a lot. Basically, I like everything about this level. I love the music and the aesthetic and the stage design and the boss. I am really bad at figuring out this dodging this stuff. Ooh. She has the scythe. Pretty good. She can deflect your fireballs. And summon skeleton. Summon skeleton. Alright, low on health, so I'll probably need to use that health potion soon. Well, you do that, or you can... I can die. Start at the checkpoint, that's one room back. Yeah. Because your, your money will just be in you. That doesn't sound too bad. Mostly, I'd, I'd suggest saving your, your health potion for when you think it's going to get you the win. You have to score eight more hits. Do you think you could do that with a full health bar? Probably, I've scored a lot of other hits. I didn't do it. But now you're making me think like I should... I should become a pro. It doesn't cost you more to get another one. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, okay. Yeah, you just, you just go visit. Well then. But you also get all, all your, your magic back all your health back. So this time you know the fight a little better. Yeah. You the most easily. Get my stacks of cash. Ah, uh, you found a good attacking spot. Skeleton. Vent skeleton. Oops. All right, now I'm out of juice, but it looks like I've got a handle on this. Yeah. Well, those skeletons are dropping some juice. They are. That's actually that's actually help really helpful. And dead. You got it. Wrecked. Plot. Free refills like Five Guys. I wish Five Guys had refills on the fries. I would never leave.
If Five Guys just... had refills on the fries, I would go there and just eat fries. <laughs> I would just become a french fry. You, you Maybe you do want to be a french fry. A bug today, not at Five Guys. I was at Five Guys recently, and just, I don't know. I would actually become a french fry. Can you defeat all these skeletons? All these extremely wealthy skeletons? I guess the gimmick here is that eventually you die, or...? You catch her, and that's, okay. that ends the bonus stage. Neat. Hey, and someone left treasure here. Nice health upgrade. Yep, every so often they give you a, like, a free meal ticket. Just to make sure that you can upgrade your health if you are so inclined. And see more map. Nope. Oh, uh, what does gems mean? Uh, I guess I'm about to find out. Gems means, do you like scrolling? Oh, biscuits and gravy. I like biscuits and gravy, man. <laughs> what, what's your favorite place to get the biscuits and gravy? I don't know, because I don't, I don't eat breakfast often. I just like biscuits and gravy. I've been meaning to do the, uh... The, uh, the biscuit taco at Taco Bell. When, when you, when, when a person goes to Taco Bell for the breakfast, do, do they... Do you get orange juice or whatever with it, or do you get Mountain Dew? Um, I personally grabbed Baja Blast when I did Taco Bell breakfast once. Yeah, because it's... Yeah, it's, it's the Baja Blast. Do you think they're going to bring that back again? Uh, it is places, back. To places other than uh, the Taco Bell? Yeah, it's back. Oh, okay. Uh, it's back, and the Sangria flavor is back. Notably, the uh, Diet Baja Blast is both gone from Taco Bell and not coming anywhere. Uh, that's unfortunate for people who prefer that. Yeah, I haven't tried the uh, the Sangria flavor one. It was alright. What I really wish is that they would have the Manzanita Soul actually available in some capacity. Oh, I think they got rid of that too. Yeah, they did. It's, it's like it and the Diet Baja Blast didn't sell it all in the places that they had it running, so they just got rid of yeah. it. I, I remember only only one of the Taco Bells around me even had that, the Apple Day. Anyway, got your, got your chalice filled up. Talk to a bard. Get some cash. Paid. Here's my question: Where does the pirate get all of his money? From? His, he gets it from you know the people on the street tipping him for playing his songs. Yeah, but enough to pay 500 gold for a piece of sheet music. Maybe everyone is secretly loaded except for uh, Shovel Knight. Everyone's just sort of like egging you on with like some idiot, you know. You know what it is? No, no, this this is this has come up before. It's the concept of the adventurer economy. Mm -hmm. Right? Like if you think about D and D and you look at like well how much does you know, like a good dinner cost. Like a good dinner in D and D, one that like you know, you'd go out to eat and you'd be like, Yeah, this is good, is two silver. And then like any random jerk who can, like, murder four kobolds and live is gonna have, like, 50 gold. Mm -hmm. And... So that's a that's hundred dinners. Or it's like, you know, a, a day's lodging at, like, a mid-tier, like, inn or whatever is, like, eight copper. So, so like the the adventurers go out and they get these massive quantities of wealth, mm -hmm. and like compared to everyone else, they're fantastically rich. Like like the maybe the wealthiest merchant 
in a 100 mile radius can compare to them in terms of wealth. Mm -hmm. um, but then it's like, when you go to get a sword or whatever, it's like super expensive, right? Right. And it's like, because they understand that adventurers go out and are fucking loaded, and they're the only people who are going to come and buy the sword. So the blacksmith makes, you know, maybe three swords a year. And, like, that's fine, because he sells them each for, like, 150 gold. And that's, you know, okay, sure, a sword is 150 gold. That's, like, you can live comfortably for a year. Off of 150 on, gold. Off, like, super comfortably for a year off of 150 gold. Yeah. So, it's... it's but then, like, all of these basic things that non-adventurers need is all, like, super cheap, like, on the order of, like, copper pieces or whatever. But then as soon as you get into anything, an adventurer needs, like, oh, oh, you know, that takes a lot of, you know, expensive materials, like, uh, iron. And it's not easy to make a... S no, dude, like, they intentionally keep the supply low to keep prices high so that they can take advantage of fucking loaded adventurers. Ah, I see. This is use your special weapon to do this platforming challenge. Yes. That is the gimmick of this mini level, is enjoy your phase locket. Oh, well, let's do it. Whoops. Do you want a tip with the phase locket? Yes. You can use it in midair. All right. So it's good to use it right before you're about to encounter danger. As you can see, it's good for about two jumps. Yeah. But of course, you can Fuck! also. <laughs> Phase locket will not save you from a hole. <coughs> <laughs> Lumpy is taking some lumps. Yeah, it's like D and D. This is what you get in a game like D and D, where they try and figure out the numbers and tables for everything. Is invariably none of it makes sense, and that's what I love about it. Is you have complete nonsense economies. I All love right. the nonsense economy of D and D. Nothing beats whole. Absolutely nothing can surpass whole. I'm I'm under I'm beginning to understand. Yeah. In a way this is like a training ground as yeah. well as a prize ground for the phase locket. You get good at shit. Ah oh, dang. <laughs> oh there's no checkpoint in this stage, is there? No. Ah, back you go. I mean, you don't have to collect things again. It's like, maybe I should have spent more gold before I went and did this thing. Nah, you're, you're fine. Yeah, good cancel. All right. Most importantly, you can turn you can turn it back on almost instantaneously, but not actually instantaneously. Uh, not actually instantaneously. That was a good. That was a good ex escape. Yeah, that was like, I can bounce off this thing. Nope. Nope. <laughs> There we go, end of the level. Yeah. About that. Now I'm loaded. Now, now the adventure economy takes hold. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, try my special meal for 4,000 gold. And like, as soon as you walk out, everyone in there just like starts laughing. Right. Like, that chump just paid like... Literally more money than I'd make in 10 years for a steak. Well, it is his best recipe. It's a recipe so good that it makes you live longer. 
That's true. It's got kale in it. Organic kale. Alright. I don't think I need to spend any more. Because I have no idea how much the uh, chesters in the levels cost you. Yeah. Uh... Like, so far it's been 1500 but I don't know if they get more expensive in later levels. Uh, I don't... I don't remember exactly. Anyway, you have your choice of 